On to company news. Now, African Bank has reported an improved profit growth of nearly 40% in their financial year that ended in September. The bank benefited from the number of loans it gave to its retail customers, which grew to exceed pre-pandemic levels, boosting revenue earned from interest. The bank's profits after tax surged 38% to 736 million rands from 534 million rands previously in the year before. The lender dispersed retail loans to the tune of more than 14 billion rands. That is 87% higher than the prior year. These results follow African Bank's acquisition of Green Road Bank as well as the assets and liabilities of U Bank. Both transactions, of course, uh, becoming effective at the beginning of this month. Month. Kennedy Bungane is the group CEO at African Bank and he joins us now. Kennedy, thanks once again for joining us uh, this afternoon. Uh, that's a strong uh, retail loan disbursement that's exceeded pre-COVID-19 levels in the past year. How has this uh, past year, this financial year that uh, you are reporting on, uh, uh, performed compared to 2020 and 2021, which were years that were quite difficult? Thank you very much for having us uh, this afternoon. Um, so uh, 2020, we're actually at a loss, uh, as you might recall. And in 2021, we're able to turn back into the black. Um, uh, and now, uh, with a profit of just over 534 um, million, and um, we have now lifted that up further uh, by uh, just over 38% to 734 million rands. And, um, and yes, uh, you are correct, this is at the back of um, a strong net advances um, uh, year on year, um, but these and, and, and this, of course, aligned with our strategy uh, of strengthening the core of the business, which is a, a retail franchise. Um, our 2022, uh, our 22 performance um, is a reflection of uh, the strides we are making in um, a digitization, a stronger IT, stronger sales a transformation, and uh, optimizing our um, uh, hybrid distribution model uh, from uh, digital, direct sales, and physical enterprise. You also issued your first corporate loan, and uh, that has added, obviously, to the group's product diversification. And um, the acquisition of uh, U-Bank and uh, Green Road Bank also makes sure that uh, that diversification is expanded. Where does that fall in terms of your strategy, uh, Accelerate 25, which is a turnaround strategy for growth as well? No, very true. So the results we are presenting uh, today do not include Green Road or UBEC, um, um, which uh, are acquisitions that became effective after the 30th of September, our financial year end. Um, what uh, the results demonstrate is 38% um, profit uplift demonstrates our strides in Accelerate 25 strategy of diversifying um, our business and getting scale in our consumer banking um, uh, franchise. Um, the introduction of a secured um, um, and, uh, and corporate loan of just over 1.8 billion adds to that 14 billion number that you've just spoken about. The significant uh, uplift in our retail savings and deposits of 19% to over 12.2 billion um, uh, speaks to how uh, my world transactional banking account um, has uh, uh, showed up uh, um, in, uh, in, in how it's showing uh, for our customers. We've got over 1.4 billion rands of um, a very good deposits that, uh, and savings that have come from my world account. Um, it is really a story of a, of a, a business um, uh, fast moving away from just being an unsecured lender into a fully fledged um, service provider for our customers. That is a key part 
or of, of Accelerate 25, which speaks to our existing franchise. Um, what uh, we are saying, however, is that with the likes of Grindrod and Ubank, we are expanding that core, moving beyond just the dependence in consumer banking. Mr. Pungane, today we heard that unemployment is still sitting in the high 30s with the quarter three showing an unemployment rate at 32.9%. You are an industry leader. What do you think is holding the country back in terms of ensuring that the economy can absorb as many people as possible in the marketplace? Mr. Pungane, I don't know if you can hear me, um, if you are still there. Uh, I was asking you about the unemployment rate, using this opportunity to ask you as an industry leader, really how you see the um, policy space and the innovative solutions in the country uh, in terms of what is holding the country back when, uh, in terms of ensuring that the economy can absorb as many people as possible in the job space. Well, firstly, the news about unemployment today was slightly positive, uh, with the 1% decrease uh, taking us to, what, 32.9%. So I guess there's some, uh, it's a movement in the right direction. But you're absolutely correct. At above 30% uh, unemployment rate, at uh, above 70% unemployment rate for our young people, um, the situation is dire. Um, one of the things that uh, we at African Bank are convinced uh, could help unleash the potential of this economy, um, address unemployment, address levels of inequality and poverty, is actually um, what uh, the founding fathers of African Bank uh, said in 1964 in Soweto when they gathered to launch uh, African Bank, and that is finding a bank for the people, by the people, serving the underserved, and in particular here, entrepreneurs, small, medium uh, entrepreneurs who are underserved today and have got a very high attrition rate and failure rate, need a bank like ourselves. And in what we are doing, Accelerate 25, to partner with them so as to uh, grow with them, support them, but also offer them an ecosystem of support so that they can focus on the business of their business. Um, we believe that um, um, when we uh, complete the execution of this strategy in uh, years to come, um, this will spare entrepreneurs in this country and help address issues of unemployment and unleashing the potential of growth in this economy. That's our contribution to the game. Kennedy Bugane is the group CEO at African Bank. Thank you very much for your time, sir, this afternoon, saying small businesses must be supported in the fight against unemployment.